The Duke Immersive Virtual Environment contains a whole other world for graduate student Gil Borer. Using Dive's 3D rendering technology, Bohr has created a square kilometer virtual forest based on data from the Duke Forest. He uses his virtual forest to study how the atmosphere interacts with the forest canopy. What we see here is the canopy top structure. This green surface is the height of the trees. The brown lines are the stems. And the nice thing about this room is I can put the canopy structure in 3D, in real space, with the atmosphere. So let's add in the winds. So by being able to put things physically together, to put the air flows, humidity, and canopy structure at the same physical time and see it as a 3D environment, which is very intuitive to the viewer, I can understand patterns. The brain is a very sophisticated tool of pattern analysis. So when you see a picture like this, it's quite obvious that the cold air here is pushing this moist plume away from this tall tree. But if you just had a separate matrices of huge data sets which update in time and you will have to guess what exactly is happening, it's not very obvious. This place is a great place to communicate what I do to colleagues because what I do is very interdisciplinary. So I combine understanding of canopy structure with understanding of atmospheric flows. When I bring colleagues that do atmosphere and they used to do atmospheric measurements, their view of the atmosphere is very limited. They're used to seeing the atmosphere as a bunch of a, a number, as a time series from a single point because they only have one tower and they have the instrument at the top of the tower. And then they see this and they see the structure of the atmosphere in 3D and they're like, wow, this is great. And usually there's a great brainstorming period. Oh, can we see this and that and that? <laughs>